What's How good? are you? How you doing? It's so good to see you. You know what? I just moved to LA, Derwin, and I wake up every morning and I say, how blessed am I? 88 degrees, going in. Do you feel the same way? You play in gorgeous SoFi Stadium, you're healthy, things things are pretty good, no? Yeah, I, I definitely wake up, feels great every morning, every night. You know, uh, that's what you pay for, the taxes out here. <laughs> now, you just beat the Broncos in overtime, so you're happy about that, I'm sure, 19 to 16. Yeah. Uh, you had a huge sack in that game of Russell Wilson. How satisfying is that as a safety? Uh, it feels good. Anytime you can make a big play, especially playing the game, you know, on defense, trying to get the ball back to the offense. So when we can make a pick, a sack, anything to change the game, you know, is always that good feeling. Sherwin, what did you do to Russell Wilson that he looked the way he looked in the second, third, and fourth quarter? I feel like as a defense, we kind of locked in and stopped letting people just get wide open because the plays that they hit on us early in the game, it was literally nobody running with the guys. So, like, I feel like we locked in as a defense and really, like, everybody did their job. Hmm. Now, you know, I'm a huge – I'm going to put this here. This makes more sense because, you know, I'm a huge – got to get a vibe on there now. You got to get – You know, get, you yeah, already you – know, okay? <laughs> You already know, and I, and I hype you guys up, and you do the same in your locker room. Dustin yeah. Hopkins, crazy game. He gets the game ball, the whole works. And literally no one was more excited than you. And that's what it took tonight. Dustin Hopkins. What? Florida State is that garnet and gold. It's that, you know, everything. I just see how hard he works. And D Hop, he's such a great teammate and a, such a great guy. So to be able to celebrate that moment with him, you know, and he wasn't even 100%. They would still be able to go out there and kick and not complain. You know, I just wanted to just show my happiness for him, you know, as his brother. Now, you don't just have kickers, though. You have love for everyone. Asante Samuel Jr., I remember he was uh, mic'd up in your game against the Texans, and you were hype. You were so hype for him. Created quite a buzz in the preseason. Cook scobbled up. They're going to lose yardage here. You've been making tacos all day. Yeah. Yeah, I'm proud of that. Yeah. I'm more proud of that than anything. You make your strong ass tacos. It's your fourth year in the league now, which is sort of crazy. Up outside of getting the guys going, what is your role on this Chargers team? Just being the heartbeat that the team know, know and want me to be. You know, and um, the team asked me to do a lot. They want me to be that leader. And, um, you know, I, I know everything that comes. With it. So, you know, I just try to do my best day in and day out. Keep setting the standard. Keep keep setting the example for the young guys. And, um, you know, get as many wins as we can. Uh, let's go back to week two, my friend, because this is, I'm just going to say it, the most iconic play, in my opinion, of the season. Oh, yeah, so appreciate far. that. And I don't know what's going to, I don't know what's going to be better. I don't know what's going to be better. It's this, it's the suplexing of Travis Kelsey. You basically <laughs> body slam him. Uh, take me through what this was like and how, how it felt. Uh, you know, I seen Mahomes scrambling around and Kelsey, he was just doing what he always do, you know, make finding grass and, you know, getting open. And I knew that, you know, I was only so close to the end zone. And I, I was like, man, I got to come up and make this tackle. I didn't see nobody like close to him. So I'm like, it's just me and him and the goal line. So like, hey, I got to use everything I got in my power just to, you know, keep him out the end zone. And, you know, I, I connected with a good hit. And um, where does the strength come from to do that, though? Is it adrenaline? What is that? I feel like naturally I'm strong, though. Uh, naturally, naturally I'm strong, but I feel like I connected good and I was low enough and, you know, the low man always wins. So. so you, I mean, you've had your battles with him and you're the only guy that I can think of that can sort of, you know, contain with, uh, contain him a bit. What is the key to dealing with Travis Kelsey? I mean, I can't just give you one key on how to contain him because he just like, he, I mean, he got a lot. Like he one of the greats of all time. Like he gonna go down in history as one of the greats. I mean, just so going against him is just a battle. You know, every time it's a battle, he constantly mix, mix, mixing it up. He's not running the route the same pace. And um, everyone knows when it comes to creating routes, like what he can do. You did this though, my friends. One of the greatest goats of all goats. It's crazy. Uh, just, does he talk out there when you guys have your battles? Yeah, he talked to me. So like, it's different. When I when I when I be out there playing and stuff, like you know, the, usually guys talk trash, but they don't really like talk trash to me. It's always like you know, good conversation and, you know, just about ball, I guess. What do you mean you're out there talking to him about Game of Thrones? What do you mean it's good conversation? 
not they don't try to they don't try to make me mad i guess I like no one's just like out there just talking trash to me it's just like good play or hey man good this is always like good compliments it's always it's not like you know what i mean yeah but after that you know he talked about it on his podcast with his brother he admitted that it was the craziest play he got got all of that so there's love there right yeah for sure it's all love it's always love anytime it's, it's love every time okay i have lots of love for your coach brandon staley uh, and he's getting it from all sides for being too aggressive. So I'm going to give you the floor here. Why is going for it the right move? Let him know. Because the guy, first of all, the guy we have at quarterback, we believe in him. In the offense we have, the weapons around him, we believe in him. And as a defense and as a team, we know that, hey, if they don't get it, we got to have they back and go get a start. And, you know, like it's preach. We practice it every day, every, every week. So, like, we know our mindset. Like, we don't need to go out there and change how we are when we practice every day the way we are, so. Now, are you saying that because it's true and you believe it, or are you saying that because that's what you do as the king of Madden? No, nah, no, nah, for sure. No, nah, it's true. I really believe that. Like, we believe in Justin. And like I say, you know me, I'm going for it anyway. I want to be aggressive oh, anyway, no. too. So, I'm an aggressive <laughs> player. And I, as a defender, I'm like, if they don't get it, hey, it gives me an opportunity, sudden change to go make a play. So. You know, we got to go out there anyway. Whether we punt it or not, we're going out there anyway as a defense. So yeah, I've so. never, I've never played Madden, but I hear you're quite good. I know you gave Jalen Ramsey all the smoke in college, and I know yeah, I, did, I, I, I did read. I'm all right in Madden. Yeah, and you beat in Tyreek like crazy, like 52 to three in a charity game. Uh, you're obsessed with Madden. Would you rather get like a a, a pass breakup on the field against Tyreek or beat him in Madden? A pass break on the field. Let's make it a play. For sure. Come on. Okay? Yeah, come on. Man. I, I don't love the game that much. I don't know how obsessed I, I love, you I are with that. Game. I love the real game now. Come on now. <laughs> Don't beat that now. You have the Seahawks in Los Angeles this week. Yeah. And you have been watching tape, I imagine, on Geno Smith day in, day out. Yeah. Do you what are you seeing? Let's start there. First of all, I got time to spend with Geno my rookie year. He was with us in 18. When we went 12 and 12 and four that year. Uh, he was our quarterback on the roster, him and Cardell. So just going to get some everyday scout team practice, just seeing them, you know, my rookie year coming in the league, he gave me great looks every day, like in practice. So, you know, just knowing the person who is traveling, playing with him. So like, I, I know everything he can do. Like, I, I'm not surprised by any of it. If you look at his QBR, everything, like I, I've seen him every day in practice since I was a rookie. So. You know, um, I'm already accustomed to what he's used to. What are, I mean, so you're not surprised that he sort of emerged? No, nah, no, nah, for sure. Cause that, like he helped us get ready every week in practice as a defense in 18, in 18 when we was 12 and four that year. Uh, he, he, he was a good credit to us as a defense. I feel like he helped us, him and Cardell Jones. They did a great job giving us looks all year. If you look at when he was in college and whenever his number's been called, he was, he's always done his job. So I can, I can definitely see the success continue for him because he works hard. He puts the time in, and um, like I said, I got to spend time with him. I think he's going to throw you that ball. And that pass is intercepted. Derwin James goes up and gets it. Speaking into existence. Let's I go. am. I, I'm a big man of Let's go. Let's go. I it. need that. I need all that. Uh, you're you're always smiling, and I know that it's you know for camera, and sometimes it's it's. I, I always think it's really remarkable with you and and Saquon Barkley actually is another person that sort of presents this to me. You missed so much time. Yeah. You're in your fourth year. You missed an entire season. Yet you have a smile on your face. So when you had to sit out in 2020, what did you learn about yourself as a man and as a player? That I really love ball. Like, because a lot of people say they love ball and like, but when you're having success and then things are not going your way, you really get to see how much you really love it. And you know, the days that I was battling adversity, getting better 1% every day, you know, it, it made me to who I am today. It made me a better person today. And uh, like I say, I wouldn't rather have it no other way. I'm always smiling and just keep going and working hard. Uh, last one for you. Uh, what should I ask? This Chargers team. I have the helmet. I'm always yeah. supporting. Does it feel like a different team this year? It definitely feel like a different team. I, I know we don't, I know we might not have all our guys out there, but I feel like the way we've been able to win these games, these last three games, I feel like it's helping us you know, that, the, that we're going to need in the season, you know, being able to win, you know, from coming back from 14-0, being able to win in overtime and being able to win all these different ways is just shaping us up to the team that we want to be later. And, in just, the 
And Justin Herbert, you've seen a bit of a difference in him. Not that he needs to change, but how has he grown from even just last year? I mean, if you look at what he's doing, I mean, he don't even have all his weapons out there and to still be able to, to go out there to do it without your starting center and your starting left tackle and your starting receiver. I mean, come on now, that speaks for itself. Go win another Super Bowl there for SoFi. You know, let's, let's sure, do it for, for sure. SoFi Stadium. Rams got one. Y'all yeah. got to get one. Yeah, for sure. I like the healthy respect for Gino, but get an interception. For sure. Right.